In the last video, we did a classification analysis using a mask of the ventral temporal and occipital cortex. Why did we use these voxels instead of others? This mask, as it turns out, is related to the Haxby et al. 2001 dataset, which we reviewed in the introduction to this series. Since we've learned so much about the Haxby dataset so far, how about we analyze it ourselves? In fact, the dataset can be downloaded here from the Open Neuro website, which you can find by typing the keyword Haxby in the search box, and then selecting Visual Object Recognition. If clicking on the download button doesn't work, which at this point of recording, it doesn't seem to sometimes, you can use the AWS option by going to this site in the hyperlink here. The link is also provided in the more info box down below. Download the package installer for your operating system and follow the instructions. I'm going to go through it relatively quickly here because I've already installed this previously, but this whole procedure should look familiar to you if you're using a Macintosh operating system. When it has finished installing, open a terminal and navigate to your desktop directory. Once you're there, type the following, which you can copy and paste from the Opener website here, the AWS command. If you copy and paste it, press enter, and the download should take a couple of minutes. At this point, I'll fade out and come back when it has finished downloading. Once you have downloaded the data, make sure you're on the desktop and then rename that directory by typing the following, move ds000105 haxby underscore data. And feel free to take a brief look at what's inside. Now that you have the data set, we are ready to pre-process it using SPM, which is a prerequisite for running the classifier analysis. We will learn how to do all that and more in the next video.